dad's 90th birthday this year. Yes. And I was just remembering how it was that we got him to agree to do the Tony Herman conference. Do you, yeah. remember, you remember that? I do. That's, it's a great story. You should tell everybody. Well, Jean and I, we, we had been doing one-day workshops with Word Harvest, and we decided it would be nice to expand a little bit. And we thought, uh, at that point, my dad was probably the best-known author in New Mexico. I would say my dad and, and Rudolfo Anaya. So we asked him if it would be okay with him if we did a mystery conference and named it after him. And he said, well, let me think about it. And Jean and I were both surprised because we thought he would jump at the chance. And then he called me, or did he call you? It was your mom called. Oh, my mom called, mom that's called. right. And she said, well, Tony says it's okay, but only if he doesn't have to do any of the work. Right, that's right. And then, so then we did, we started the conferences in Albuquerque. What do you remember about that first conference? That one was, it was unbelievable. We had a wonderful space for a bookstore that had windows on probably three quarters of it. And it was such a wonderful opportunity for people who came from all over the country uh, and Canada to come to a books, come to a, a writer's conference with Tony Hillerman. And they were so excited. We were very excited. And we had, we had a special room for, Dad was giving the keynote address. We had a special room. The room was packed. And next door to us was a benefit tennis auction. And so just about the time Dad started talking, the auctioneer in the other room started auctioning off, you know, dinners for two and cruises. And that audience had been drinking for a couple of hours. So we had to keep turning up the mics and turning up the mics. And I think that whole hotel was filled with noise. It was. And outside were the uh, hard tiles. And they would, the people who were serving dinner and everybody else were, had carts. And so you, all you heard was, crack, 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 crack. And crack, 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 all night. And at that point, my dad's hearing was not the best. And a lot of times when people start to lose their hearing, their voice gets softer. And so he, who, he'd always been a, a, big, a big teacher. But at this point in life, his voice was kind of soft. And so we were having to turn it up, turn it up, and clank, 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 clank. And then the cheering next door. It was wild. It was wild. But, after the, but he liked it anyway. And so after yes. that, he said, sure, I think, I think you all are fine to continue doing this. Yeah, because it was going to be a one-off. And everybody loved it so much, we decided to keep going. And I remember the the first um, general session that we had. Um, let's see, Michael McGarity got up and talked to everybody and told them um, how Tony had jump started his career and how he, you know, owed Tony so much. And then Jonathan Kellerman did the same thing. Got up and told uh, Tony how he had jump started his career with blurbs for his book and how grateful he was. And I can see. Tony sort kind of sitting behind me and he reaches in his pocket and he pulls out his little pad of paper and his pen and he's like writing, 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 and he tears it off and he gives it to Don Strell, who's the MC. And so after a bit, Don gets up and he says, Tony would like to say a few words. And it was something about how he's, um, you're making him, uh, all these people are, you know, the adulations are taking away from his uh, perception of himself as a humble man. So he gets up there and says, asks him to take it back, take it all back, that they're ruining his, his reputation as a humble man. And the crowd loved it. They loved every bit of it. Yeah, yeah. And I think when we did it, we didn't imagine that we would be here 10 years later. No. Still doing, still still doing, doing the conferences. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's well, been it's been fun. I was just going to say that. <laughs> and I think our audience has had fun, too. I think so, we, too. We have people who've come every year. Yes. And some yes. of them aren't aren't really even writers. No. They're just, I mean, they're people who would love to be writers, but it's not like they're coming to be able to sell their books better. I think they're coming just because they love the craft and they love the congeniality. Yes. The conference is, it has a reputation for being, um, for the networking abilities, and it's not, it's not very big, uh, and that's what people like. We, we like the size. We want to try and keep it the size that it is. And people appreciate that. They appreciate. They always say, "We want to come back and see Anne and Jean." And I think maybe we're part of the the big attraction. 
well, you're so good at keeping all the details organized. I mean, I've gone to so many conferences where, oh, they don't have your registration. Oh, did you really pay $100 or did you pay $125? And that doesn't happen at our conference. It doesn't happen. Because you're so, you're so good with all those details. So. Well, thank you. Well, you're, you're part of the creative. Uh, con you, you help with the creative end of everything. We couldn't do it. Well, we do it together. Yeah, we do. And I think we're a good team. We, we complement each other. Yeah, and I, the other thing that really makes it work is the energy that the participants bring when they come. Yes. I mean, uh, uh, there are some conferences where you sort of sense jealousy among the participants. People say, you know, you may be another writer and maybe your book will do better than mine. And at our conference, it, people seem to really support each other. Yes, they do. It sounds kind of corny to say that, but it's, it really has proven true. It, it is. We have an event that we started about three years ago called the New Book and Author Breakfast, and it sort of kicks off the conference on Friday morning. And both presenters and attendees who have new books that were published within a specified time can get up and promote their book, and they love it. And everybody cheers for them, and everyone has just a grand time. And this year, we're adding an event where people, it's sort of on the same line, line of that. Uh, it, small groups of people will have a chance to talk to each other about their work and to talk with a mentor, a published author, who can give them some, some good tips. People are going to bring writing samples to, to this, this breakfast. And this is the first time we've tried it, but I think it's going to be a big success. I think so, too. I think people are going to like this very much. Yeah. And the conference this year is... Uh, it's going to be a good one, another good one. Every November in Santa Fe. Yes. So thank you for watching. <laughs>